So for question three, we have um, 3.1. Uh, they saying that if R equals to one divided by five, and then A is equals to um, 2000, then uh, determine um, 3.1.1 uh, Tn, the general term of the series. If we're talking about R, we know that that's a geometric um, series, right? Uh, the general formula for a geometric series is given as Tn equals to A uh, multiplied by R to the power N minus 1. And then from here is just direct substitution. Uh, we given that A is 2000 and then R is 1 to the power 5. So that is oh, 1 divided by 5, I'm sorry. So that is 1 divided by 5. And then that to the power n minus 1. And then you get a free mark for that. And then 3.1.2 says uh, determine the seventh uh, term of um, the series. So T7 will be equals to um, Okay, so let me write the formula again down again. So that will be okay. So Tn equals to 2000 multiplied by 1 divided by 5 to the power n minus 1 and then uh, T7 equals to 2000 multiplied by 1 divided by 5 uh, to the power n n is 7 right so that is that i write that there so that is 7 minus 1 uh, this is 2000 i'm sorry so this is equals to uh let me put that in the calculator real quick so we have 2000 multiplied by 1 divided by 5 to the power six basically uh that is 16 divided by 125 um 3.1.3 says which term of the series will have a value of 16 divided by 15625 so okay tn equals to 2000 multiplied by 1 divided by 5 to the power n minus 1 so tn they say that is 16 uh, divided by 15,625 uh, which is equal to 2,000 uh, multiplied by uh, 1 over 5 to the power n minus 1 so let me divide both sides by uh, 2,000 I will get <coughs> uh, 16 uh, divided by uh, 15,625 um, multiply by uh, 2000 uh, which is equal to 1 divided by 5 to the power n minus 1 so um, I think there's two ways you can solve this you can write this term here uh, in terms of 1 over 5 to the power something uh, or alternatively you can take a uh, lock on both sides so let me go with that uh, option so I'm going to get a log of, um, let me see if I can just drag this down, uh, log of uh, this term here, um, uh, is equals to uh, n minus 1 uh, log of 1 divided by 5. If you take a log, then you can bring the exponent down like I just did here, right? So in this case, uh, n minus 1 is going to be equals to um, uh, this term here um, divided by uh, log of um, 1 divided by 5 and then uh, it says n minus 1 so I can after that I'll just go ahead and add 1 to both sides so let me put that in the calculator so that is um, 
log of 16 divided by uh, 15 625 multiplied by 2000 um, everything divided by log of 1 divided by 5 so n minus 1 equals to 9 n is equals to 10 so that's uh, the position of uh, that value we have let's move ahead uh, 3.2 3.2 says uh, consider the geometric series where uh, the sum of infinity terms equals to 27 and the uh, sum of the first three terms is equals to 26 um, seems like uh, the series is uh, converging here yeah. uh, then it says calculate the constant ratio r of the series right so this is what this is the only thing we are given and we're supposed to determine r so let's sort of uh, write those things down using the formulas and see how we can manipulate it to get r so the sum of infinity terms uh, when the series is uh, converging is uh, 1 divided by 1 minus a divided by 1 minus r right so they're saying that a divided by 1 minus r equals to 27 so we have two unknowns there a and r and then, then they're saying that the sum of the first three terms is um, is given as 26 right so uh, that is given by um a let me a okay a uh, multiplied by 1 minus r uh, to the 3 uh, divided by 1 minus r equals to uh, 26 so now we can realize that uh, we have we have two variables and then we have two equations so what do we do we solve simultaneously uh, so to say right so how can we write um, let's say this is equation one or this is equation and this is equation two so how can we write one in terms of two or two in terms of one in such a way that we can determine r now if you pay close attention you will realize that for equation 2 a divided by 1 minus r uh, okay you can realize that uh, equation 2 you can write it in the terms of a divided by 1 minus r multiplied by uh, 1 minus r to the power 3 is equals to 26 but what is this term here a divided by 1 minus r from equation 1 we see that that is equals to 27 so we're gonna get 27 uh, multiplied by uh, 1 minus r to the 3 equals to 26 so now we have isolated r and we're just solving for it we're gonna get um, 1 minus r to the 3 uh, is equals to 26 divided by 27 um, let's take let's subtract 1 from both sides so we're gonna get minus r to the 3 uh, equals to uh, 26 divided by 27 minus 1 uh, which is uh, minus 1 divided by 27 so r to the power 3 equals to 1 divided by um, 27 uh, then from here we can take um, we can say okay r to the 3 to the power 1 over 3 equals to 1 divided by 27 to the power 1 over 3 uh, so here what we are going to get is 3 and 3 will cancel we get r and on the uh, right hand side is 1 divided by 27 to the power 
1 divided by uh, 3, which is 1 divided by 3. 